everyone this is Fatu next door if you're new here welcome feel free to subscribe if you enjoy this content new videos every week if you're returning thank you so much for joining me once again in this video we're talking about the modules i did in my second year of medicine at the university of pretoria second year was honestly one of my toughest years so far in medicine I mean academically and financially because I didn't have funding at the time everything was just a little weird for me so it was definitely a difficult time but in first semester yeah we did LCP which is longitudinal clinical attachment program so with this it's a year-long module and we go out into different sites and we interact with community members we talk to people we report back to school you work in a group again very important that you have someone in your group that ha either has a car or you yourself have a car as a matter of convenience because you will be um, traveling to places which are out of your control you don't pick where you're going so it is very beneficial to have a car or have you know a trustworthy uh, source of transport and then we did BOK 280 BOK 280 was um, homeostasis this was basically the metabolism um, it was also the uh, metabolism of the body it was uh, nutrition um, acid -based equilibrium, so metabolic acidosis, and also metabolic alkalosis. All, all of this will make sense once you do it um, I did find it a little challenging but with the help of YouTube you'll honestly be okay we also did some hematology so they broke it up into like three bits so it wasn't too hard to digest <laughs> the hematology part of it i think was very well-rounded the lecturers were very enthusiastic about it it was very interactive you know i remember us having like online animations where we like it would basically literally be a game you know blood groups and blood types and all of that type of stuff i found it really interesting and informative um and then we did BOK okay 284 once again that was people and their environment so that was um the ethics in medicine and public health uh death and disease and burden of disease in communities as well as violence in households so we did all of that um that's basically like the social work again people and their environment also did anatomy but i think they've changed that into a year-long module i'm not too sure but we did anatomy GNK288 in our first semester and it took the bulk of the semester. Honestly, this was the most challenging module <laughs> I had ever gone through. Like, it required so much for me. Um, this was the first time we had a, um, a cadaver to dissect. So we worked in a group of four and you guys get your dissection kit, a scalpel, all these type of little tools and everything first time we had to wear scrubs to school um, and in this group of four we had to dissect different parts of the body obviously it was um segmented so we'd spend like two weeks on the head and neck two weeks on the chest two weeks on the upper limb two weeks on the lower limb and two weeks on abdominal organs and everything i found upper limb very very complicated i also found I found though that neuroanatomy was actually it was easier to get it was also very really, like complicated but I enjoyed it like it was the questions they asked were just like oh yeah okay this is that that is this and that is this so, that so <laughs> um, you're not gonna get it unless you work hard at it like it required you to study every single day even during recess you had to be catching up otherwise you'd fall behind um, a lot of people repeated second year because of anatomy, so work hard. Um, also, the textbook that I used, I used a Macmin textbook. That helped me, that saved me through the exam. And then I bought, I used the Macmin textbook from the library. I'd go to the library every so often for the Macmin textbook. But I myself bought a, I forgot the name, but I'll insert it right here. That's the textbook I used. Um, it's very animated, so it's not very realistic, so it did kind of make things a little mm, hard to transfer from the textbook to the actual cadaver. And sometimes, like in the CBTs, um, and also the type of questions they'd ask was like long questions. So it wasn't just A, B, C. It was like, name the structure. What is the function of these two things? What is the relation between that and that and that? You had to remember so much, guys. It was actually crazy. Like... <laughs> 
I'm also realizing I didn't actually explain the concept of spot tests, which is something we do wherein we'd be in a hall and you would there would be about 30 specimens, right? Like a cut up hand or a cut up elbow or some piece of the body. And we'd have to name the structure and then we'd have a follow up question in the next station. So I think each station was a minute long and then you'd rotate quietly and all you hear is this bell and wow that was like how it is in the movies let me try to insert a clip for you um so i didn't find the clip but you can just imagine the tension in that room oh my gosh <laughs> um because we basically had to learn like a textbook with 800 pages in like what eight weeks so i'm really glad i i think it would make more sense to do anatomy through the whole year and then in semester two we did pathology bok285 so pathology included um, stuff like tumors and genetics and also immunology. That was also very interesting. We got to go to post-mortem for the first time. So that was also very interesting to see. The lectures were enthusiastic, enjoyed it. Um, and then we did BOK287. This was infectious diseases. This was also very high yield. We did dabble a little bit into antibiotics, but it was mostly just all the bacteria, all the viruses and yeah this also was tricky like if you didn't study for this um then i'm sure it was difficult a lot of people also might have been held back in their second year had to repeat second year because of this um but my life hack through it what saved me was sketchy micro all those videos i watched them and i remembered every single bacteria through it because uh, you needed to know quite a few things about every single bacteria and then we also did GNK283. This was, this was our introduction to clinical examinations. And yeah, I don't know what more to say about that. I don't even remember too much about it. Um, and then we also did GNK286. This was our basic emergency care. So this was our CPR. This was our manual defibrillator. This was how to, like, how to save people in an emergency, basically. And then, yeah, that's basically all we did in our second year. Uh, again, a very challenging year for me. But don't take it from me. Find out for yourself. Work hard once again. So, yeah, that was my second year of medicine. Those are the modules we did. Um, also, maybe something worth explaining is that um, the, the way the syllabus is set up is that we don't do all these uh, modules at the same time. We basically do one module for a given amount of time like we'll do um gnk283 for three weeks and only gnk283 and then for excuse me for the next two, two weeks we do a different module so on and so on and so on so they really give you time to like specialize quickly into one thing and just one thing and then the next and then the next and how it works is that you need to achieve more than 60 percent for a specific module to in order for you to not write the first exam and in that first exam they combine what you get in that first exam if you do go write it what you get in that first exam they combine it with what you got for the module and that needs to be higher than 50 so that you avoid writing the second exam if you get to the second exam because you got a total aggregate percentage of less than 50 meaning you failed then you're going to write the second exam and in the second exam basically your marks can't get any higher than 50 percent so you need to get 50 percent um or you fail and what if that happens um then you repeat the entire year once again thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned or in case you haven't watched my previous video on what i did for first year hit that link down below bye thank you so much for watching